Hello and welcome back everyone. Thaddeus here. And we are currently in a very nice ruin. Uh, this is an underwater ruin and it's really awesome. Uh, I found it when I was going around looking for some desert nova flowers. Basically, uh, what you've got is you've got um, this giant structure underwater. Oh, and you see how easy it is for me to see underwater now? That is because of my Respiration 3 enchant on my hood there. So anyway, uh, you come in here, there's lots of glowstone. There's a couple of enchantment tables, which are pretty nice. Okay, And there's several rooms, and each of these rooms has a bed, and a furnace, and a crafting table, and a chest. And these chests hold a myriad of things. And I'm going to show you some of the best things that I found in here. Uh, look at this. Thaumium axe, Thaumium sword, Thaumium pickaxe. That's not even the best. I found a pickaxe of the core. Eight more Thaumium ingots. This, this is just an amazing find. You know, I don't need those bones, but I definitely want to take some of this stuff back to the house. While I was out running around, I also found 41 gold gravel. That is amazing. Okay, uh, I also found a, uh, a steel sword, which that I'll probably go ahead and keep. Um, I found three more infinity orbs, some knowledge fragments. Uh, as it is right now, I'm just looking at stuff and I'm like, okay, what can I get rid of? Uh, the pickaxe of the core I definitely want to take. These thaumium tools here can definitely be used to make other stuff. Um... Let's see, I did find one Desert Nova. That's it. Okay, uh, I've also got some iron and some more aluminum. I'm So I've got to decide, what am I going to leave here? You know what, let's go ahead and leave the torches. Okay, let's go ahead and leave those torches. Because I definitely want that Thaumium. That Thaumium has uh, a pretty significant value to me. Uh, let's see, so... Let's go ahead and look at some other stuff. There's at least four... Basically, there's four bedrooms here. So over in here, we've got some pink infinity orbs and another thaumium axe and some more knowledge fragments. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, infinity orbs because I, I mentioned them previously. So when I do that, it says I've gained a blue skill point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just gained three blue skill points. Now, I'm going to earn couple of red ones. That is pretty awesome. Some red skill points? Yeah, when we get back to the, uh, when we get back to base, I'll show you what I can unlock with those. And then over here, some more knowledge fragments. Okay, uh, there's a couple of other rooms here. Okay, one is this little lookout room here. Okay, so you can kind of get up here and Look around, and it has a chest with more knowledge fragments. 28 knowledge fragments. That is just amazing. Okay, let's see what else we've got around here. Well, it also comes with a little farm. Uh, one of the items that's in that farm is nether wart. Oh yeah, I already picked that up. So now we just need some soul sand. And if you remember in our last episode, I told you that you can combine heat sand with... Um, what is it, corrupted dirt or something like that? The the two different uh, items from uh, Natura that are in the nether to make soul sand. So we can make our own soul sand. And there's this, there's another one right back here. Okay, look at this. Four efficiency four books. That is amazing. Ten more knowledge fragments. Four efficiency four books. This is an awesome underwater base. And then, of course, we've got these two enchantment tables. And here we've got nine more knowledge fragments. Forty-seven knowledge fragments and a compass. Not compass isn't all that important, but, you know, it is useful. Plus, all this glowstone that we just spent time going to the nether to get. And some flowers. So, if you happen to find one of these ruins underwater, be prepared to get some cool stuff. Oh, I didn't even check this one yet. More knowledge fragments, some more thaumium, some amber. I'm not worried about the amber. Not right now, anyway. This is 
basically the most awesome find. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and go out. And I, I tell you, I love this respiration. I love being able to see this well underwater. Uh, some people may say respiration's no good, but you know what? Um, considering it lets me breathe longer underwater, and I can actually see underwater, this is pretty darn amazing. Okay, so right now, if you look, okay, there's another giant redwood. Uh, here we've got, uh, I believe this one over here, this castle, is from the chocolate mod. Over there looks like possibly an Ars Magica, plus another boat and some other stuff. So basically all I was out here looking for was the, uh, the Desert Nova flowers. I found one. That's enough for me to get the crystal wrench made. Um, so at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and make my way back home. But uh, I'm also going to kind of look around to see what's here. This doesn't look like it's a full village. It looks like it may just be one house. And there's some, some kind of... Okay, so that one there is Ancient Warfare. So let's see if we can see what's in this house over here. Uh-oh, this guy's coming after me, isn't he? Well, I can take care of him pretty easily with this magic. And I don't really want to... I can't pick up his stuff. Okay, let's see what might be in this house here. Hopefully nobody else is going to come after me. Great, the door's all the way over here. And there's absolutely nothing in it. That doesn't do me much good. An iron sword would be okay. I certainly don't need leather armor. Is there anything I could drop for that? Um, not really. Okay, I'm not going to pick up an iron sword. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so in order to get back home, looks like we kind of need to go back south. So, let's see. Okay, that one is the uh, the chocolate quest house, or castle. So let me go ahead and take a look here. So basically I need to go south west. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll go west first and then we'll kind of go south along this route and see what's there. So we're just going to kind of run past this one here. Okay, that is not a Thalmcraft dungeon. The, th the thing right now is Let's go ahead and go a little more south. I don't want to get involved in uh, a battle right now because I don't have any storage space to pick anything up. So maybe... Okay, this is kind of a way I've already been. This here is where I found the, uh, the one Desert Nova flower that I wanted. So I'm just going to try and sneak past this place. And if it's the chocolate quest, it's got the, the special spawners, which is totally what that one looks like. Okay, looks like we got some more uh, iron gravel here. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that up. That'll kind of make up for the iron sword I left behind. The main thing I was looking for was I was trying to find a desert biome. And the reason for that is because I need more of these desert novas. It is possible for them to grow, actually, in a magic forest biome. Uh, basic... or no, no, it's not magic forest. What is it? Um, there's some kind of a biome where they can grow. I'm not sure if it's a biomes of plenty or if it's the extra biomes. No, looks like we've got a full village over here, so that's kind of nice. Okay, copper gravel. No, let's just kind of follow around this thing. It is an origin biome. That's the one. So there's something called an origin biome. And in that origin biome, basically anything can grow. Uh, desert plants, uh, any kind of trees. Basically anything that can grow anywhere can grow in an origin biome. Alright, so we pretty much need to go straight south. Um, doesn't look like there's really much over there. Just kind of a swamp. Okay, so we just kind of keep going this way here. 
Got some ice. And uh, I have done a little bit with uh, my Thalmcraft. Not a whole lot. Uh, I got some ice. You know, there's some clay there. I should probably get that if I can actually reach it. Nah, it's in the water. I can't. That's all right. We'll find some. So let's just go ahead and keep heading south. Obviously, there's no uh, no desert here. Oh, we got another castle here, and these guys look angry. They look mad at me. So let's just try and get around them. Okay, this will definitely help me speed past them. Okay, looks like we're past them. So, still looking for the flowers. Occasionally you'll find them on sand, just kind of scattered around. But you really need to be in the right biome. Okay, so we're almost home now. And if you look, I've got 29 uh, levels right now. So with that, we'll be able to quickly get back up to 30. Why did it sound like something just broke a light? Oh, I wish... I don't have room for sand in my inventory, do I? Because I need to get some more sand to make some glass. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just get back to the house real quick, and then I'll run out here and get some more sand. Because this here really isn't that far from the house. And I'm going to have to start eating better food. This uh, monster jerky just doesn't have the saturation that I need. Mm, let's just kind of go this way and see. Okay, there's the ship. Grab that Tarma root while I'm there. And I haven't been there, so maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll take a run out there. So now the question is, what armor do we want to uh, enchant next? Um, I kind of like to do the uh, the least uh, the one with the lowest durability. So that would be the boots at this point. And that's just because I kind of hope that I get something like uh, the the one that increases the durability. So this thing here should be doing pretty well. Oh, nice. I'm already getting my uh, mana regen buff. You can see it there. If I open this, mana regen from this one. So that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and put these goodies away. And let's go ahead and... Uh, since I've got this stuff ready, I'll go ahead and I'll take it. Just something to do with it. Okay, so in here we've got some more, uh, some ancient boots. Uh, I found a named uh, zombie, I think it was. So these are actually pretty nice. If I can figure out some way to get those off, it, th those would be really nice to put on something else. Okay, so Tarma Root. Uh, goes here. Oh, wow, we've got three... Thaumium axes, pickaxe, sword, 14 ingots. Wow, that is crazy. That is awesome. Okay, so we definitely need... I want to start melting some of this gold so we can make gold uh, caps on our uh, on our uh, white nexus out there. Gold caps on that thing would just be awesome at this point. Okay, so let's see. How many do I need for that? Um... Let's see, there's 21. Let's go ahead and make it 27. That would at least be divisible by 9, which is really what we need. So let's just go ahead and throw those in there. And then it'll come out there automatically for us. And let's go ahead and put the rest of this stuff in here if it'll fit. No, it's not going to fit. So, I could go ahead and throw the gravel, the iron gravel ore in there right now if I wanted. Is there anything else we want to take out of here, maybe? Anything that maybe doesn't fit? Um, well, I guess the plates kind of don't. We'll take that redstone out of there. So, we'll throw that in there. And then, let's see, some of you. And... Okay, we got room for you. I should probably just go and destroy these, because I'm not going to use these. 
they're just taking up room right now. Okay, so in there we can throw in... Now maybe I'll throw that steel sword in there. I might be able to melt that down. That would be nice if I could melt that down and turn it into steel quickly. Okay... Oh yes, and the pickaxe of the core needs to go downstairs too. So I've got two of the strongest things here you can you can make. I've got the pickaxe and I've got the hoe. Um, those are some really powerful tools. Okay, let's go ahead and make our crystal wrench. So I've got the orchid, the nova. I need a ventium dust and three iron. So let's grab a ventium dust and then let's see how much iron we've got up here. Do I have three? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this, and then that way we can control what gets used where with our uh, Ars Magica stuff. Now, let's see. I want to make basically a place where I can just destroy some stuff. Let's go ahead and... Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Okay... And let's grab a bucket of lava. And we're just going to put it right there. And have I scanned lava yet? I don't think I have. Let's go ahead and scan that. Nice. Okay, good. Can't do bookshelves yet. Can't do the enchantment table yet. Nope. Okay. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start destroying some of these things. Because they're just made out of stone and I don't need them. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to go ahead and pick up our lava again, and we'll put it down here in the bottom. Okay, is our gold going? Good. So what we're going to want is we're going to want four of these, and oh, let's see, I don't have anything with uh, silk touch. So that glass up there is going to get broken. It's going to get destroyed, but that's okay. We definitely want that. Okay, let's grab that. And you know what? I need a block of something to stand on. Okay, let's just put this right here, and we're going to break you. Put you there. You there. And this right here will give us a lot more power on this thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our crystal wrench. Oh, and we got a baby here. Hey! You didn't drop anything for me? What a jerk. Okay, see how it's got this gold color now? So that's got to be because we've got the gold blocks up there. So what we want to do is we're going to right-click with our crystal wrench. And that says, okay, I'm ready to be connected to something. And then we're going to click this. And then you see that? So now this thing here is going to charge up with white nexus energy. And that's going to give us bonuses, more bonuses, for when we actually cook stuff. Okay, let me just go ahead and throw that cobblestone in. It's going to have the chance to actually give us three stone instead of just two. So, since we're here, let's go ahead and spend our three blue points. Okay, so as far as talents go, color is just so you can change the color of your spells and the effects. It basically changes the color of your particles. Uh, let's see, as far as utility goes... Probably ought to go ahead and grab Binding. I'm going to need that eventually. And then there's Disarm. Hopefully they've got that working so you can actually disarm mobs now. Because I would certainly like to be able to take a, a uh, an enchanted weapon from one of these tons of zombies we've got. So let's go ahead and look at our defense here. And there's Haste. Uh, Swift Swim. What else? Heal. Oh, that... See, now that's heal and that's healing. I don't know what the difference is, but that one's red. Uh, so that might be worth getting. Let's go ahead and look at the offense. 
Okay, remember I said I wanted to get the fling, but that's a green one, so we can't actually get it yet. Damage, beam, area of effect. Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Ooh, we could get ignition. That one you can actually start fires with. Oh, but that one's green. Can't get it. So let's go with lightning damage, and that unlocks storm. Ooh, I think that's so we can cause it to start raining, and then we could use that to uh, constantly call the uh, water guardian. So that would be kind of cool. And let's see, we've got one more. What do we want to learn? Um, I don't know exactly what targeting non-solid blocks does. I've never actually used that one. Let's go ahead and try disarm. Maybe we'll try and disarm some uh, some mobs. Now, as far as the red ones go, I don't really have much that I want to do with that. Um, I can't get any of the talents yet, because I need to have a green one here. So at this point, I think we're just going to kind of hold off and save those red ones. And, okay. Next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and enchant our armor. Do I have any way to get more XP from this. I don't think I had any bottles left. Alright, let's go ahead and go get a couple of bottles. And then we're also going to need to make some charge foci. Uh, going to want to make three of them to make this thing cook fast. So you see, we got the two, which is what you can, you can expect to always get two. So let's go ahead and go get some sand here real quick. And then I'd really like to get... Uh, some of the other ones going for, uh, like, there's the Accelerate, which basically puts haste on you, and then you can get the Jump, and all the other stuff. Get out of here, Egg. So I guess what I'll do is I'll get some sand, and we'll go check out the ship here. We'll go and we'll do both of those. That sounds like a good deal. Using this here, I get to increase my XP, and once we get to level 23, we'll actually get another uh, green spell point. So with that, we can learn the uh, the fling. That makes a really nice combination uh, for a spell, and so that'll let me actually make a better um, offensive spell. Because then what I can do is I can add knockback and the fling, and basically it'll knock mobs backwards and throw them up in the air at the same time. All right, that's enough there. Let's go ahead and get to that ship. Oh, let's go ahead and make sure we've got that on our offensive spell. Oh, you know what? Do I have... Hmm, I, don't, I didn't bring any torches. I'll just destroy them, I guess. I know there's going to be some spawners out there. It's daytime, so there may not really be much in the way of mobs here. But then again, I could be wrong. Is that a blaze spawner on here? Okay, we're keeping it. <laughs> I'll be back for this, because I don't have any uh, torches. I'm, we're definitely going to want to turn this into a uh, mob spawner for XP. If it's got a blaze spawner in it, we want to keep that. So, how much do I have here? Alright, I got more than a stack. That's fine. So, another thing we're going to need the glass for is making the charge foci. Because you need a uh, the lowest tier on the uh, foci. You need the lowest tier focus to be able to upgrade it to make the charge focus. And that'll make this thing cook a lot faster. All right, let's go ahead and throw the tin in there, and let's see how much we get out of that. Okay, and let's get started on a charge f on the uh, focus. So we need three of those. So let's go ahead and look up charge. Uh, let's see, charge focus requires a standard focus and two glass. That is a lesser focus, which is one glass. So we need a total of three glass for this for each one, so we need a total of nine glass and 
12 gold nuggets. Oh, you know what? I need to put these away, too. I'm carrying around 62 knowledge fragments. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Alright, let's throw that in there for now. And as far as our plants go, plants are down here. Lavender, blue orchid, more lily pads, nether wart. Mm, let's see. Okay, in here, put the bones. I don't need to carry that arcane compendium. That was kind of dumb for me to take that last time. I certainly didn't need it. Okay, let's throw the stone in there. And, ooh, just enough room for that. Some sand. Alright, so we need 12 nuggets. How many nuggets do we have? We have 10, so great, we're going to need one more of these. Okay, there's that. Let's look again. We need 12 redstone. Let's grab 12 redstone. Okay. And then after that, we just need our glass. Okay, let's go see. I've heard it kick off twice, so we've got at least four in here right now. Yep, we got four. That's enough to get the first one going. So once we get the first one done, then that will uh, go ahead and speed things up a bit. So let's go with you. Let's just get the one, because I need to upgrade it. You, and then finally the charge. Okay, so we'll get that put in. That'll increase it to start with a little bit. Okay, there's two more. That gives us three, so we can make one more. You, you, one of you. And then, that was this. Oh no, this one has the four. Okay, and then the glass. Charge focus. Okay, I just heard it kick off another one. Okay, there we go. Now you see, it's already going much faster. It is going to drain our power a lot faster, but that's okay. What we'll end up doing is we'll set a mana battery up. That way we'll be able to store it. Okay, so let's get you. You. And you. Okay, so now we've got really good speed on this for white energy. And you'll see that it's just going to kick that down real fast. So now we've got enough to make a couple of... glass bottles, and we'll go stick this in the bottler, get up to level 30, and then we'll go ahead and we'll enchant our boots. That is still a lot of experience in there. Okay, let's see if six is going to be enough to get this last level. Four, five, six. Ah, so close. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep. That way, when it's daytime, we'll be able to get... Uh, we'll be able to keep our white nexus charging. It will not charge when it's nighttime, unless you have moonstone caps. So you can actually make a second one with moonstone caps, and it will run at night. So let's go ahead and stick that in there, because we're going to need lots of glass, I think. Oops. Okay. So this will definitely be enough, and then we'll go ahead and we'll get that done. And that's unfortunately going to put us at the wrapping up point, so I'm going to end up recording another episode right after this. I'm thinking two is going to be enough. Okay, one was enough. So let's go ahead and throw that one back in there. And let's go ahead and 
enchant our mage boots. Do not jump on that accidentally. Okay, so mage boots. We have protection four. Okay, it's not the greatest. There is a way to infuse it. I don't really know how that works yet. Um, but we've got protection four. We've got blast protection four and respiration three. That's pretty good. But now that we've got uh, that thing there to be cooking up our glass, we can go ahead and focus on using up that experience, and then we can use those uh, tanks for something else. Okay, we need to go ahead and cook up some more of this stuff. Let's go and cook up some iron. And as long as we do it in groups of nine, we'll always get uh, blocks out of it. Do we have anything else we can do? Yeah, we can go and get some more gold going. That wouldn't be too bad. It's more aluminum. That would be okay. We do have some artite. Okay, there's our tainted soil. And where is our heat sand? Okay. So, let's, let's go ahead and throw that in as soon as... Um, the iron will definitely be ready first. Okay, let's see what we need to make soul sand. I'm hoping it's not four of each, but I think it probably is. Okay. Ooh, soul glass? If you smelt soul sand, you can make soul glass. Okay, that just sounds wicked. Hell cow's horn. Okay, uh, soul sand is just one of each. Okay, let's do it. We now have six soul sand. So we can actually start making or not making, but growing some nether wart. Okay, it's not going to be a lot, but hey, it's better than nothing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this upstairs for right now. I think just right over here. Hmm. Where's a good spot for this? That looks good. Okay, so with that, uh, we are definitely at the wrapping up point. Uh, let's see, our gold is coming out right now. And that means the iron's already there. Very nice. Oh, okay, so with that, uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching, uh, everyone. And look forward to seeing you in the, e in the next episode. I think what I'm going to focus on for the next episode is go ahead and build my next spells. So that we can go ahead and, and take those uh, and go possibly take a um, one of the castles. Uh, magic definitely is going to be the way to go. This one here has already got a stack of glass. Uh, and it used uh, 31 sand. So we did end up getting at least one that uh, that gave us three. So here we go. We've got 63 glass bottles now. So I am going to throw that into my bottler here. And then we can go ahead and work on enchanting another piece of our armor. So with that, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.